Hello, this is Coach Anthony Williams, president of Connected Athletics. I want to thank you for coming out and watching the Spotlight podcast where we outline uh, student athletes all across the country and let them tell their story about who they are both on and off the field. I want to thank our sponsors, Buffalo Wild Wings, who are out there uh, in Texas here sponsoring, giving athletes a platform to, to share just that, their journey, their story, uh, who they want to thank and talk about their season. So I want to thank Buffalo Wild Wings for that. If you like what you hear and, 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 uh, and see in this interview, please go to our YouTube page and like, follow, and share it with uh, anybody else that is into Texas high school football and really wants to be about helping student athletes be successful on and off the field. Uh, I've got a young man tonight that I had the pleasure of watching last Friday night uh, down in San Marcos. Uh, they had a big second round win over McNeil. Uh, this young man literally was the difference in the game. I know it's a team sport, but every time he had the ball in his hands, he was explosive. And I'll let him talk a little bit about himself. Uh, but Sammy, let's go ahead and let you kind of tell people who you are. Give us your name, your school, your graduate. Tell us a little bit about you. Oh, my name is Samuel Harris. I go to Cibolo School in San Antonio, and I'm an athlete, class of 2025. Great. Sammy, so tell us a little bit, when you were just talking before we went live here, so you guys obviously in the third round, and everybody in high school, I'm a former coach and player, when you're playing around Thanksgiving, that's a good thing, so you're in the third round, tell us about that experience, did you guys have that as a goal, how do you feel going into this uh, third round playoff game? Uh, going into this third round, I'm definitely feeling confident with the team and how we've been practicing, but ever since the beginning of the season, coach has always said it's, uh, it's a goal to practice on Thanksgiving and just take it week by week. Did you guys make that a goal? How I mean, every year you guys get together as, as, as probably leaders and captains talk about, hey, what's our what's our team goal? Uh, what were the Cibola uh, Knights' uh, goal for this year, for this season? Easily just to make it to state and win it. Win okay. it all. Keep it simple. I like it. I like it. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, we're, we're obviously on social media. Uh, it's being used a lot for, you know, branding and, and recruiting. Tell us about how you balance your life uh, with social media and homework and practice and being with your family. Tell us how you balance that. Oh, it's it's fairly simple. I can explain it simply, but you have to handle business first because once business is done, then you can have your free time. So really just earning my free time after handling all my business in the classroom, on the field, watching film, and even spending time with my family, then I'll have free time to myself. No, I like it. I like it a lot. It's a great answer. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, balance. Uh, I'm, as I mentioned before, you've got you got academics, you've got practice, you've got film study, you got position meetings, uh, you got your own life. What do you do? What what best practice would you give those behind you, freshmen and sophomores, uh, about balancing uh, those things in your life? Uh, to balance it, you always have to have a plan. Uh, really, just focusing in and locking in on what you have to do in that moment, and once you get it done, then just on to the next. Gotcha. Uh, you know, you guys play, you guys have a great following down there in, in Cibola. Uh, every athlete loves playing in front of a packed stadium. You guys have a great following down there. Uh, but we want to, how, how do you as an athlete thank those that follow and watch you play on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays? What are you doing to give back to the Cibola community? Um, I do a lot of, well, the whole team entirely. We do a lot of uh, community events and everything. Like, for example, uh, me and a couple of my teammates, we went to an elementary school in the area, and we just simply – greeted the um the parents and the kids in the morning and that was during our bye week so we had some extra time for that you know see i mean i go to a lot of games every weekend throughout the season for the last i don't know 30 years and there's always a group of young men at the games but they're playing their own game they, they may watch you for a little bit but they're playing their little game in the end zone yeah. what advice would you give a young man who's middle school or maybe a freshman who says man i want to be like samuel harris when i get older what, what kind of advice would you give them just tell them focus in on the moment and you only live once, so as long as you can be a kid, just be a kid. You know, I mentioned in the opening that uh, I'm really thankful for Buffalo Wild Wings being a sponsor of not just Cibola Steel's football program, but of this program, allowing you type of athletes like yourself to give a, to give their story in their own words. Don't let somebody else tell it. Tell in your own words. I don't know if you've ever been in Buffalo Wild Wings, but they have a lot of different sauces for their wings. Uh, one of the questions, what sauce best describes you as a player on the field? Oh, I definitely believe that Nashville hot uh, describes me because when you eat a Nashville hot wing, it's spicy, but you know it's going to be hot. So once you eat it, you can tell something's coming. So how that translates to me on the field is I'm on the field. You know a play is coming, but you don't know when. So yeah. that's really how I explain myself. Uh, I mean, that, that's a great example because after I saw from you uh, last Friday night and watching your film, that that is a great description of how you play. So that one is 100% dead accurate. Um, 
you know, Sammy, I believe uh, playing a coach's game for a long time that that football is the ultimate team sport. But there are made up of eleven individuals on both sides of the ball. Tell me how you balance your overall team goals we talked about earlier, along with your individual goals as a running back. Um, knowing just knowing my role on the team and in my position group, and definitely not being a selfish guy. So just being non-selfish, celebrating with the team whenever someone makes a goal or someone makes a play. Yeah. The thing for the college coach that'll be watching this, the thing is when you watch Sammy's uh, highlight video and watch him play live, yes, he's dynamic running the ball. But when you want that running back to stay on the field and pick up a blitzing linebacker, this kid is not shy. He is as physical as he wants to be and helps his team out by getting that, giving that extra time for the quarterback to get the ball down the field. And you guys got a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball, at quarterback and receiver with the guys there with Chad and, and Jalen and them. Um, talk a little bit about, um, you know, and I'm, I want you to be selfish a little bit. What were your individual goals for you as a running back this year? How many yards, how many receiving yards, touchdowns? What, what did you put in place for yourself at the beginning of the year? Uh, it was easily just a thousand yards because I had yet to reach a thousand yard season. I've become very close from my freshman and sophomore year, but this year I definitely wanted to reach a thousand yards and at least maybe about 15 touchdowns. Okay. Good stuff. You know, one of the things about the a, a team, as you know, uh, there's a lot of different people from different backgrounds and races. And one thing I loved about playing football all my years, high school, college, and, and professionally, you get to meet people that you probably never would have met uh, if they weren't on the team. Uh, people from the country, people from the city, people from the hood. Talk about how being on that 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 Cibola team, you, you've been able to kind of connect with people uh, with different backgrounds and how you guys kind of still uh, melt together into a team. Uh and still, we're all one family, so it really just helped me to understand that everyone comes from a different background and situation, so just be open-minded of how you treat people. Yeah, no, that's a great, great response. Um, tell me, when, when did you start playing football? At what age? I want to say I started playing flag football when I was four or five, but I was always, like, in the, in the neighborhood playing backyard football. Give me your most memorable moment from any time in your career where you look back and kind of go, yeah, I did that. I was proud of that play. Mm. Before I came to Texas, I um I lived in California. So me and my team in California, we won the CIF national or well, not national. We won the CIF championship. So that was one of my uh, most memorable moments in high school so far. So another thing we have in common, I'm also a California native from San Jose, California, from the Bay Area. What part of California are you from? San Diego. Okay, yeah, I got family down there. Okay, uh, just outside in Temecula. If you remember oh, Temecula down in San Diego, uh, that's great. I didn't know you were from California. That's good to know. Hey, as we finish up here, uh, tell me, um, is there another player or running back that you look up to or pattern your game after, either at the college or the pro level? Uh, running back that I pattern my game after, I just found him out, found out about him this season, but Bucky Irvin, the uh, running back at University of Oregon, catching passes out the backfield, amazing downhill. He can make nice. amazing, he gets in the end zone, coach. Okay, no, I, 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 that's the first time somebody has mentioned his name. That means you definitely know the game. That, that's that's real. Uh, and there's a lot of similarities between how he plays and how you play. So I like that comparison. Uh, you know, Samuel, there's a, there's a lot of different players during pregame. There's the players that like to get hype, you know, all active in the pregame in the locker room. There's some that like to be over in the corner, quiet, eyes closed, just kind of going through the game plan. What what which player are you? What bucket do you fit into? How do you how do you get ready in pregame? I fit into the kind of because our team we do a lot of high things together, so we're all just one. But maybe ten minutes before the game, I'll just get my mind right and go through the plays, go through, imagine what I'm gonna do in the game, making plays. So yeah, I'll just have that in listening to my music. For the coaches that haven't gotten back to gotten to you yet in the recruiting process, uh, what other sports do you play? I know you're very athletic, very talented. What other sports have you played? I just play football and run track. Okay, well, that's the main I want to hear. So tell us about track, because as a former college coach, if you weren't running track as a full player, it was a box. It's a question in my mind, like, why aren't you competing in the spring? What what, what events do you specialize in? Uh, 100, 200, 400, and uh, four by one relay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, always be working on your speed for those young ones that are out there listening to this. Uh, you can never be fast enough and never be quick enough. You may not be a world-class sprinter, but you can go from where you are to a little bit faster, because that's what the game is all about now. Uh, Sammy, once again, hey, uh, we didn't talk about it earlier. Tell these coaches that are watching this, uh, what is your current height and weight and 40 time? Give some of the, some of your stats about who, uh, what kind of player you are. Uh, I'm 5'11", uh, 5'11 and a half, about six foot. I'm 173 pounds, 4'4", 840. And I don't know my broad jump, my, uh, my shuttle, but I know it's up there. Self-assessment. 
what are your pros? What what should coaches look for as a pro and why they should recruit you? And then subjectively, what are the, what are you working on as you get ready to go into your senior year? Uh, a pro for me as um, a college coach recruits me is I'm definitely a team player. I'll go get that big block you need, like how you were saying. I'll go get the first down. I'm going to make a play. And some things I'm working on is I definitely want to say keeping my balance um, as I'm running the ball. Like, I can break the tackle here and there. I can turn on the Jets. But just keeping my balance in between the holes and being patient is definitely what I'm working on um, going into my senior year. If I was evaluating you to recruit you at a college uh, the, after seeing you play, the next question I would ask is, do you play a role in special teams? Are you on pump return, kickoff return, or anything? What, tell us what special teams you're on. Uh, kickoff return, uh, kickoff, punt, punt, return. Yeah, so I'm on all the special teams, Coach. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that's good. Uh, finishing up here, uh, this is my favorite question. Tell me why you enjoy playing the game of football. I just enjoy the brotherhood and building relationships, meeting new people. That's what I like to do. I just like to figure out how other people work, and football allows me to do that. Okay. Samuel, let, let, let's talk about life after football, whenever that is, whether it's after a 10-year career in the NFL or whether it's after college. When you're done with the game, what, what's the next phase of your life going to look like? What do you want to be successful in after football? Um, for the most part, I want to start a business, whether it's in sports um, or it can be anything, really. But I'm kind of focusing my mind on sports right now. So maybe a sports business, whether it's apparel, training, anything like that. I like it. Okay. All right. Well, hey, man, uh, I am looking forward to, I won't be at your game this week, but I'm sure I see you. I'd love to have you guys make it to the state championship and see you guys up in Dallas uh, at the star and everything, but uh, good luck on Friday. Uh, tell yeah. Jalen and Chad and the rest of the guys, I said, hello, thank you for your time. And I know it's the day before Thanksgiving, but man, we really do appreciate you. You did a great job in the interview. And I think you're going to share a lot. You've shared a lot of information that college coach will want to know about. And I'll see you at the combine here. If I don't see you at the games, Coming up here in the rest of the playoffs, I'll definitely see you January the 5th in the Alamo Dome at the NBC National Combine, man. Good luck. Congratulations, man. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks.